Alright guys, welcome back to another video. And today guys, we're back with some more Anime Mania and I have no idea what in the world is going on in this, this arena. It reminds me of like Toshiro Hitsu Gaia. Um, but guys, today it's going to be uh, the, it's going to be the video on Katakuri, Katakurai, Katakurai, um, <laughs> it's going to be the video on Katakuri, guys, and today, I'm probably still saying it wrong, um, <laughs> and in today, guys, we're going to show him off at max level 80, as y'all can see, but I'd really like to know where this goes, guys, um, I've never really seen this before, and we're about to find something out real quick, so, uh, guys, one thing I'm talking about is, I did place him wrong on my tier, legendary tier list, okay, so, a lot of y'all are going to whine and complain of it. I put him as a B, but when I first checked him out, I did not care for him really, guys, just because his kit, I didn't really see anything super, like, long range um, to really, you know, really knock mobs away just like some of our characters do. So, guys, um, that was part of my reason for that, but we're going to, I played with him more in death. Yes, he deserves to be more than a B, but I'm still trying to figure out if he's S or S+. Plus. He's better than an A, but I'm, I'm trying to figure out the S or S+, plus kind of thing. So let me know in the comments, guys, which um, would you like to, which 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 tier should he be in, S or S+, plus, and let me know why, uh, because I'm going to be placing him different on my tier list, and we're, that's, that's what we're going to see. So guys, uh, let's go see his skills real quick. For his skills, Moki Master. We have Moki Floor, fill the floor with Moki, and it also stuns him, gets him stuck. Cooldown of nine seconds. Moki Grenade, um, this one, exploding Moki Bomb into the air, this one can do a lot of damage, but the thing is, it's not as long range as it might look, like, I, I don't know if the hitboxes are wrong or what, but it's definitely not, like, a long widespread, but if they're all next to you, yes, you will get them, knock them out quick, pretty quick cooldown at 15, you got Moki Roll, create a rolling donut to trample over your enemies, uh, 12 cooldown, damage 35, you can actually do a lot of damage, uh, if, and clear mobs out, if they're close together, um, like really close together and you got Moki Stampede which this one it does you can throw a lot of damage out but the thing is about it guys it's if you I don't know I it can definitely be a huge miss if you do not aim it correctly from what I've found um so I'm still not 100% impressed with the guys kit as of now but guys I am thinking he is a lot better if you do the moves a little bit more skillfully I guess you can do very good with him so let's find us a match we're gonna start out here in Arlong Park just because of the fact that the boogie pirates are one of the most aggravating raids there is because uh, they teleport behind you but these aren't too much better um, because of the fact that they do shoot sharks but uh, so first of all that was the Moki roll okay let's just go off with Moki floor just to start out with and yes, I just obliterated those because I am level 80. Um, and then let's go with Moki Grenade. So it does kill them a lot, a whole lot. But like the, if the people were on the outskirts of it, um, we would not really be killing them as quickly as I would like. But the Moki Roll, if you can get it off, like I just cleared that mob because I hit them off. But like on the Boogie Pirates, um, they're more spread out. So... The, that's the good thing about Arlong Park is is the fact that they actually they're closer in together so it's easier to get his his moves off it's easier to clear mobs with Katakuri um guys if I mispronounce this name oh well I'm I had I've I've, I've read the manga and the last manga I read was the Do Flamingo arc so I don't really know how to pronounce this dude's name correctly so I don't watch the anime um and like I said it's been a while since I've really kept up with the series but guys, um, this one, so you kind of see what happened. Those pirates really got away. That's the bad thing about this move. Um, that's one reason why I wasn't too impressed with his kit. But I guess if you can do like Moki Floor like on a boss or something and really just hurt them. I mean, get them stuck and then you could do all your moves on them. That would be a definitely plus to this dude. Um, like the the donut just cleared them pretty good, but they had to be all together. I wouldn't be I, I have not been able to clear them this good um, in the buggy raid because the fact that like I said they're more spread out, but over here and they're a lot better. See, I wish the damage went out through every single white spot. As far as the white spots go, if you had hitboxes out to there, this move would be just insane. Uh, the Moki grenade. 
But because you don't, uh, I got I got mixed feelings about it. But guys, he's definitely he does have a lot of damage output. That's that's the thing. So his his kit might not be a kit that has super wide range. That's what I'll say. Wide range instead of long range. Wide range moves. But if you hit them, they actually do a lot of damage. So that's a plus. Um, like this one, it's not wide range, but it can do a ton of damage. So I guess his moves are more like that might be a, a medium range AOE, I guess, or 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 a narrow range medium AOE is what I'll call it. Uh, it does damage, but um, you just have to get them all grouped together good. So like Arlong, we're gonna knock him out pretty quick uh, due to this. See, look, I, I don't even, did we hit him? Oh yeah, we did hit, get, hit Arlong. So uh, the good thing is his moves have iframes. Like that one, it had iframes uh, until I got knocked out. This one has iframes. This one, I guess that's one good thing about hitting him like that. I guess I need to finesse my hit more with the Moki roll. But y'all are seeing how quick I'm clearing out Arlong and this dude, He's he, he's not he's not gonna live much longer. Surprise! See, I wonder did he step out of that range or just enough to really not get hit up much? I oh, will do another one real quick. All right, so now we got him at the Coliseum raid, and these dudes can be straight up annoying. Um, so we're just gonna run Moki floor on him just to because we it's got a pretty quick cooldown. And then so uh, let's see Moki grenade. So I'm just gonna really sit here, and the good thing is uh, you I said, it didn't really have iframes throughout the whole move. If it has iframes, they're like in the very beginning. So that one's not like a super good iframe move, I would say. Uh, but the donut is definitely iframes. I mean, duh. How can you not have iframes on that move? This one, does this one have iframes? I, I don't. I need to let somebody hit me, but I don't want to get, uh, get stuck. So you see the kind of problem I have with uh, that move right there, the Moki Stampede, because of the fact that they moved away, they were able to get away without getting hurt. So uh, yeah, that's not like really super good. Uh, but. You know, let's do this Moki Grenade again, and I need to get out of here. No, 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 no. Okay, I, at least it cleared him. So it does got the damage, but it didn't really have all the super, super, what am I trying to say? Um, The super, super, like, wide range AoE. Um, I want to do Moki Floor, but because they're all together, let's do Mo this Donut. And just, look, we wrecked them quick, and they spawned another, <laughs> spawned more people out because of that. Okay, so this dude can do some wreckage. But it's not wide range wreckage. Um, so that's, I guess, I guess people really like him because his damage output, he has a lot of damage output, yes. But I don't know if you'd necessarily say that he is S plus class. He's, I'll give him an S for sure. But see, that's not a good thing either. I mean, I got knocked and boom. Now, this thing cleared the mob. Yes, that cleared the mob. That is one thing I will say. That Moki roll, it might look kind of, I don't know, I don't know if it look, you'd say it looks dumb, but <laughs> it definitely uh, cleared the mob for, for sure. Oh, did that dude just get stuck? Okay, yeah, the dude had full health, no wonder. All right, so wave nine, we've gone, come, gone through nine waves really quick, so we cleared the wave pretty quick. And then we got Doflamingo right here. Um, Let's go with Moki roll. Get you Doflamingo, oh, what the crap? So this game's still being in early stages, even though, so, I like how this game was like in alpha then all of a sudden just come out and was like hey um, We're gonna keep the game open since y'all like it so much, which I'm glad But there's just bugs and stuff we're gonna have to deal with because of that But uh as for a boss, I don't know how that I got a good bit of hit on him uh, Then Moki grenade. I guess I could do Moki floor and Moki grenade And then if he's still I did I thought I did Moki grenade I guess you could like put the boss like get him stuck and then keep hitting with your donut. I don't know but we did clear that wave pretty good. We'll do one more though. For the last one, guys, we're gonna do Marine Ford and see just how well he does against like a full set of bosses because bosses definitely have, uh, a, I guess you could say an advantage as far as they have more health. Um, so this is really him against bosses. Let's do Moki Floor and then let's do Moki Roll just to kind of, ah, uh, see, I, see that's the only thing about the Moki Roll. I don't know, is this ice more slippery? I don't know, is it just me or is it is it weird? So we're gonna get Moki Floor off, get him stuck, and then we'll do uh, Moki Stampede. So this is actually pretty good for bosses. Especially, yeah, look at that. That's just, gosh. That just straight up wrecked him. And then 
the roll. Y'all saw how quick that was. Oh my gosh. Wow. That He's got a, good, a lot of damage output. I will give him that for sure. All right, guys. Here is my final opinion. Uh, it might change. I say final. But here's my opinion on Katakori right now as it stands. So, guys, um, he does put out tons of damage. Okay? Yes, he does. Um, which, that'll get him to at least S because of the damage output and the, the small... The, the low cooldowns. The only problem I have with him keeping him from the S plus tier is the fact that um is the fact that he his his moves he don't really have any uh, wide range AOE moves. So like Genryusai has the big knockback Stark. His even though it might be in a single direction, you can it's longer and everything. His his uh, Matrelica guys. I don't really see that uh, with with Katakurai. Maybe Moki Roll could kind of take that spot, but it they have to be all grouped up really well for you to hit them all quickly. Uh, so he's at least S, but I don't really know if you put him as S plus just to the fact that he does not really have any, hello have any um law uh, wide range AOE moves. They're not wide range. They are medium range at best. Uh, his iframes make him great. Uh, for the Moki roll and the Moki floor, but and I think you get some iframes on Moki grenade at the start. Uh, but guys, that's where I got him at. He's not a B class, okay? He's not a B like I put him in my tier list. But uh, that's that's really max level that we have right here. And y'all saw how well he cleared everything out. Tons of damage. Uh, so if you enjoyed the video, guys, make sure you drop like and subscribe. I will be updating that tier list when we get a new update. So don't get too upset about the tier list that I did, where I put him. Um, also, I'll be doing more characters level 80, so let me know which ones you want me to see uh, level 80 in the comments. Thanks for watching and God bless you.